Hi guys, Amy here. So this is our May swag. We're gonna do some ice cream cones and I wanted to show you guys a couple different ways to create your ice cream cones. So we're gonna be working with acrylic powders and in your swag, actually first let's go over what's in your swag. You've got your card, obviously with all your ingredients, your flavors, your toppings and your extras. So your colored acrylics are your strawberries and cream, mint and brown sugar. So you should have a jar of each of those. Your toppings are your strawberry pieces, which is your strawberry Fimo clay, which is in your little bling bag. Your chocolate chips are just a few chunky and um, irregular cuts of a black glitter. And you just need a tiny amount of that. Your tools, which are your adorable little set of jewel tools. And then your designer brush or detail brush, sorry. And last, a little jar of onesie. And I am praying to the gods above that nobody has leaking onesie. We tested these jars for a while before we committed to them. So keeping my fingers crossed, you guys. So basically, working with your colored acrylics, which are your three colors. I can't ship liquid in swag because swag always goes out USPS. So liquid can't be shipped USPS because it is a flammable and hazardous material. So I included on, in your, on your card here to – so I included in your card a – free liquid code. So when the new website comes up, which I know I keep talking about this, but it is literally coming up this week, um, you guys can log in and if you are placing an order, just use this uh, code for your free liquid and I will send it to you. I want you guys to be able to do the ice cream cone out of acrylic liquid, liquid because I feel like that's the best way to do it is with acrylic and I know not all of you have access to acrylic liquid. If you do have it, um, obviously you can use any acrylic liquid but of course ours is the best and I want you to try ours anyway so please take advantage of that free code for your free liquid. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it out of acrylic and then we're going to show you how to do it with the onesie gel. So that's why you got your onesie in there too. So first we're going to just do the acrylic, which is definitely a little bit easier and I also feel that it looks a little bit more like ice cream. So I'm just going to start on a tip. Obviously, you can sculpt out to a nice um, pointed free edge so it looks like your cone. Or a lot of the times the girls will just file those ring fingers into a cone shape and keep all the other nails whatever shape that they're already wearing. Clients seem to like to do that. So we're going to get started and we're going to do our cone first. So we're going to take our brown sugar. Let me get that out of the way. And I'm just using, of course, the Profiles Acrylic Liquid. And you want to keep this pretty thin because basically your structure is already built. You've already built a nice thin nail underneath this ice cream cone. So you don't want to overdo it and have it add too much bulk to the nail. So we're going to keep it nice and thin. We're just going to pick up a little bit of, well, or we could just drop it right in there. Let's try that again. A little bit of brown and I am just literally painting this on nice and thin depending on how much cone you want showing I just kept all the liquid in my brush and just literally painted this like acrylic paint so thin so now if we want to get the impressions in this which is, you can see the impressions on your cone here. If we wanna get those impressions, I'm just gonna use the swag card. You can use a business card. Um, floss works really good. But you wanna make sure the design or the brown sugar here is dry enough. 
So when the shine starts to disappear, then you know you can go in and put your details in there. Still a little shiny. And what's gonna happen is it's just gonna pull up and be wet and it's gonna stick to whatever tool that you're using to put your impressions in. So again, just waiting for this to dry. Okay, so that's looking pretty dry. And I'm just gonna use the corner of the swag card. And first thing I'm gonna do is kind of stick it in the powder just because I don't want it to stick to the design or I don't want it to stick to the acrylic and I'm just laying it and rolling like so. See, it's still a little wet, so we just want to be careful. Now it's going to stick to our card, so let's just get that back in there. In there. Let it dry for a second. See, that's perfect right there. That consistency is perfect. Okay, so we've got our lines in there for our cone. Next, we'll do the strawberry for this one. So what we're gonna do is take our strawberries out and you're gonna wanna cut them into smaller pieces. So just grab a really sharp pair of scissors and I'm literally just going to, actually nippers would work great too. We're just gonna cut these in half so that we just have some chunks of strawberries, pieces of strawberries, just little pieces. Okay, that should be good for our strawberry pieces. Next, we're gonna pick up the strawberries and cream acrylic. And we're gonna go in with a nice sized pearl of strawberries and cream. And we're gonna place it right about here. And again, I'm keeping all the liquid in the brush just because I wanna keep it nice and rounded. So this down here, sorry, was out of camera there. I'm just kind of pulling this down a little bit, but this isn't really gonna matter because we're gonna cover that with the, kind of the crust of the ice cream. I just wanna make sure that I've got a nice rounded top. And as this starts to dry, I'm just gonna pick up a few pieces of strawberries and place it in there and that way it looks like the strawberries are kind of like embedded in the ice cream however many you want if you like extra strawberries then go for it so this is where we're at now and last we're gonna take another pretty large ball of pink and we're gonna go right across. I'm almost just gonna strip it right across. And just let this dry for a second. You're gonna just play with it. Make sure it's exactly where you want it. Start to let it set up, but let it um, kind of float into the shape that you want. And be careful not to dent that top ice cream, the scoop part, because that is still pretty wet. So as this starts to set up, we're gonna just start poking at it to give it that crusty kind of look and kind of move it around. And as it sets up more and more, this is really when you're gonna get that cool texture. And I'm just kind of stabbing at it and moving it around. As it starts to set up, just work a little bit faster don't let it smooth out. You can even go in and add a little bit of powder to it. 
to give it a really chalky kind of look. And the more you play with it, the more texture you're going to give it. Again, just grabbing a little bit more powder. I don't want it to smooth out. So here we are. And last, we're going to add a few more strawberries into this part. So it looks like they're coming out. And I just use the brush and just really press it in there. Another piece here. Oh, come on. Here we go. And last, I want to make a few drips. And that's pretty easy also. You just want to get your brush nice and wet. Pick up just a little bit of acrylic. I'm going to dry it out a little bit and I'm just going to lay it down and pull it up. So it just gives that drip look. Yes. So that simple, obviously, for your acrylic um, ice cream cone. You can always go in and add more strawberries, add a little bit more um, powder to it if you want to. But there's your strawberry ice cream cone, which is fabulous. And for your chocolate chips, obviously you're doing the exact same thing. You're just adding chocolate chips in there rather than your strawberries. So we're gonna do the uh, mint chocolate chip one with our onesie. So the onesie, like I said, it's a little bit trickier but it can still be done with gel. And since your onesie gel is an acrylic based gel and a soakable flexible gel, you can mix this with your acrylic powders. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this cone off. We'll put that right there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with your onesie gel. So I've got my palette here, and we are going to go in with our little spoon, and we're going to grab a dollop of onesie. Actually, I'm going to grab two dollops of onesie so that we can do both the mint color and your brown sugar for your cone. So I've got two dollops of onesie on my palette. Next, we're gonna grab our acrylic powder and I'm gonna do the cone first. So we're just pouring, scooping some acrylic powder right onto the onesie gel. And then just use your spatula and we're gonna mix these to get this together. And it is a preference of how much you put in there. It is, you can make it a little bit more opaque by putting more acrylic powder in there, or if you want it to self-level out and be a little easier to work with, you can put less in there. So I feel like I've got a good consistency here. So you can see it's still flowing. It's still gonna string nice, but it's got nice opacity to it. So I'm just gonna pick up a scoop of this and I'm just gonna kind of roll it right onto the nail. I'm just gonna use the spatula to spread it out a little bit and then just kind of let it do its thing. And self-level, which it will do on its own if you didn't put too much acrylic powder into it. So not too much. So once it self-levels out, just go ahead and cure that. Okay, so we cured this for about 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer. So there's our cone. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a dollop. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more gel into this. Just to get it a little bit more fluid. And what we're gonna do is string in our texture. So place and pull. Again. And we're gonna do the same in the opposite direction. So there's our texture. We're also just gonna take a little bit of the brown and just sugar that in just to give it a little matte texture and go ahead and cure that. So we're just gonna dust off the extra and there's our waffle. Oh, there looks like a little bit of glitter in my dust brush, but I am definitely not hating that. All right, so there's our waffle print on our cone. Now next what we're gonna do is take the other dollop of Outshine that we have here and we're gonna mix that with our mint. So we're gonna just take a couple spoon, the spoonfuls, and we're gonna mix this together, same way we did with the brown. Make sure you're cleaning your tools in between because you don't want to dull your mint color by having brown on your spatula. So again, I've got a nice consistency. It's still gonna self level on me, which is great, which is what I want because I want it to look nice and smooth, but it's opaque enough. And I'm also gonna take a tiny bit of our chocolate chips and I'm gonna add them in. Just don't want too much. And just mix those right in there. Perfect. Next, we're gonna take a nice dollop of that. And we're gonna start, we wanna keep this a nice rounded look without it self leveling and flattening out too much. So we're gonna work kind of fast, but I want the bulb of it to stay at the top. So I'm gonna start here, just kind of swirl just to get it off of my tool. I'm gonna move it around a little bit. So again, I'm just kind of playing with it, but keeping the thickness at the top and kind of thinning out as it gets closer to the cone. And if you find that it's self-leveling too much, turn your finger the other way, turn your client's hand the other way so that that self-levels back further. And then cure. We are gonna put a little bit more on there so we can do like a flash cure right now. So here's the start of it. And then next, you can do this with your detail brush. Just pick up, it's a very small brush so it's hard to pick up a, a lot. So just kind of scrape it off the palette. And then we're gonna go in, I'm just gonna touch wiggle it off of my brush and pull it up. I just want a nice dollop of melting ice cream. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. And again, just kind of rolling the brush to get it off and then pulling up. just to get that nice teardrop so it looks like it's a drip. Okay, go ahead and flash cure again. And when I say flash cure, basically I just mean 10, five to 10 seconds under the light just to get your gel to stop moving. So there we go. 
So after you flash cure, we're gonna try to get a little bit of that ice cream crust in there. So I'm just taking, see all this left over on the palette? And I'm gonna go and grab a little bit more powder. And I'm just really scraping. So this is making like a paste, really, really thick paste. And you really have to add a lot of powder to get this consistency. If you guys have ever been to um, Cold Stone Creamery, this is literally what looks like, this looks like ice cream from there. <laughs> so I'm adding a few chips into it. Still adding a little bit more powder because I don't want to put this on and then it just kind of run. So it's very moldable right now. And if you look, it's staying in that texture. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go on the nail and just kind of self-level, which is not what we want anyway. So we're picking that up with the spatula and we're just gonna roll it off the spatula. I just want another little piece right on the edge there. And then just use the tool or your brush to kind of conform it however you want. Perfect. Now we're going to cure. So the key is really the consistency that you want with your onesie gel mixing it with your colored acrylics. And you can do this and make a paste and do all those paste designs on nails. I mean, there's a, that's another reason that we just love our onesie so much because there's just so much you can do with it. And if you are not working with acrylic liquid, you can still get these same designs with your gels. And you can use these acrylic powders to get the colors and the consistency that you want. It is a very versatile gel. And like I mentioned earlier, some of you girls are in salons that don't offer acrylics and maybe it's a spa that they don't want the smell of acrylics. So just, you're not limited. You can, you can get these same looks and same colors. It's okay to prefer acrylic or gel, but look at how pretty. So there's our gel chocolate chip. Now you could have, before we cured this, we could have put a few more chips in there but I love it. So we'll take these off. I'll take a few good picks and add those in. But here is your ice cream cones for the summer. And all of your onesie gel is sticky, so make sure you're wiping off sticky layers. Um, but that's it. If you guys um, have any questions or anything, you know where to find me. And our new website should be up within the next few days. You'll all get some information on that along with some really good specials and deals to get on there and try it out. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Tag me in all your pics.